today I'm Casey, one of my fellow YouTube artists uh, and we're going to be doing some no line colouring but based on a stencil. Hey crafty people, it's Tasha, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button below, it would mean the world to me. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, I wanted to keep in as much of the painting as I could so you could see the exact process that I went through to make it. Um, but it, it took quite a while so <laughs> um, I've sped it up by quite a bit so that you can see um, as much of it as possible. So what I was going to do is whilst I am speedily painting there I want to talk to you about the artist whose project inspired this creation today um, and then I want to talk a little bit about mm -hmm. myself as well. Today's video is part of another team tiny hop. This time we are uh, choosing to case one of our fellow Team Tiny members. Now if you don't know what the term case means, don't worry, neither did I. Basically it's an acronym for copy and share and then some people think it's copy and share everything. Other people say copy and share edited. Um, either way is fine. Um, basically it's it's accepting and um, embracing the idea that we inspire each other we can be inspired by something that we've seen somebody else make whether that be um, a technique that they've used that you've not tried before or um, haven't tried for a long time and you just you have to do it um, or a color scheme or it can be right the way through to you know you love something that someone has made that much that you recreate it yourself and that's okay that's that's okay we are here to, to inspire each other and be inspired by each other um but the the big but is you need to give credit for that so that's what um yeah that's what our video hops about today um so i'm going to flash up a picture of um the card that i was inspired by um it was from a very very talented team tiny member who actually is not far from her from her 1k now um so that's amazing um she's called olivia um i'll have a link to her channel below um and i watched one of her videos where she she was doing all different techniques with stencils um and she did one where she used the stencil to get the rough shape um, of the flowers that she was she was going to be painting, um, but then she she did it with um, like watercolor pens. Um, but after she got the shape of the stencil, she then took the stencil away and and just turned it into this beautiful no line coloring. Um, flower and yeah it was beautiful I loved it and I, I'd never seen that before never thought of doing that before and I had to try I really really wanted to um, I don't have the same stencil that Olivia used so I did use one of my own instead of a different one um, uh, I used the Ultanu Mega Bloom stencil which is very deeply beloved by me <laughs> i adore that stencil um, i've used it a lot um and yeah i'm really really happy with how it turned out so olivia has been on youtube for a couple of years now um she posts videos very regularly which is great um and yes yeah, she's got this really cool like mixed media style um she does a a a series called Use Your Collection Stamp of the Month um, that's Ace. She like uses a different company um, each month and uses as many of their stamp sets that she owns as possible during the month. So that's exciting um, and she encourages people to, to do that along with her. So yeah, check that out. Um, she is a mummy to three girls um obviously she loves crafting and she's also a basketball fanatic um so yeah i encourage you to go and check out her channel um i will have it all linked below along with the video the actual video that i was inspired by um it was really nice 
looking through um, Olivia's videos and um, you know her Instagram and she's got a blog um, and just getting to know her style a little bit um, I really enjoyed it so thank you very much Olivia for the um, the inspiration um, and the amazing idea to to use your stencil to get that that outline I loved it thank you um, just check back in with my uh, my painting there um, so once I got the the basic shape that I wanted um, and the, the colours sort of laid out where um, I wanted them to be um, I then let it dry obviously and then went in with coloured pencils um, over the top to add the um, the depths and, and just sort of the the sort of finer details um, because I think that 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 makes makes something you know it goes from being a nice picture to to being impressive and full of detail I think the the colour pencils really elevate um, your artwork you'd think that it wouldn't make that much difference but it really really does um, so yeah I added the coloured pencils over the top and um, if I was to make this again which I think I will use this technique again because I really enjoyed it um, but I think in the future I would have a little bit more of a plan as to where I was going <laughs> before I started um, because I just sort of started just drawing petals in just here there and everywhere um, without really thinking too much about the finished shape um, of the flower because I wanted it to to look like a flower um, is open um, you know not just I wanted didn't want it to just look 2d I wanted it to look a little bit more 3d um, so yeah I would probably just pay a bit more attention to where I was placing the, the petals um, but other than that I'm quite happy with it <laughs> um, uh, I'm quite yeah quite happy with how it turned out okay so a little bit of information about myself now then um obviously i'm tasha hi <laughs> um, i'm from the uk i am a mommy to two wonderful girls and um, i have a wonderful husband who is incredibly supportive and loving and um just i i can't thank the universe enough for for the husband and and daughters that i've got because they are fantastic um i don't like to be defined by um, my disability but I am disabled and I share that because I'm not um, as I said I don't want to be defined by it but it is an important part of my story um, basically I started crafting as therapy after being diagnosed with a chronic illness and um, my life changed very quickly um, and I sort of went from working 10 hour shifts looking after other people's children to being stuck in the house and able to look after my own so um, that was that was not that was difficult to to take um, I have spoke quite a bit about my um, illness on my blog which will be linked below um, I have something called um, hypermobility EDS, Alice Danlos, um, basically means that my joints are unsteady um, and yeah it causes a lot of pain, um, difficulty walking, standing, um, I use crutches around the house and then I am in a wheelchair if I'm moving, um, you know when, once I'm outside if I'm going anywhere um, then I'll be in a wheelchair um, and it was difficult for me to take, difficult for me to come to terms with and crafting was my outlet um, and it helped me see that I wasn't just disabled, that, that I was still me and I could still do things um, and that was just a revelation to me back then. Um, and I stumbled my way through various artistic pursuits um, and found card making um, through Jennifer Maguire. Um, I learned, you know, everything that 
that I know that that's where it stems from, Jennifer Maguire. Um, if you haven't seen her videos before, then you should because they are amazing. I'll have a link to her channel as well below. Um, and yeah, I just loved that I could, I could sit here at my desk and I could use whatever I felt like using in that moment, whatever inspired me, and I could create this little piece of art that I could pour my heart and soul into and then I could put it on the front of a card and I could send it out into the world to hopefully bring a smile to somebody else's face and that's what that's what made me fall in love with card making that's why I do it that's why I continue to do it um, but I started sharing my cards and then subsequently created this channel because I thought that I wouldn't be able to do anything I thought that I would never ever ever succeed in anything and you know what that's not true and and I have to tell myself that every day and I'm here to help other people realize that too and um, I want to help you find your creativity um, and I want to show you that that you can do things and that together we will we'll do it we'll we'll have fun <laughs> so that's really that's that's me that's why I have this channel that's what I want to do with this channel I finished the card really simply just embossed a, a sentiment on um, I cut it down and there it is I'm really happy with how it turned out um, so Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you for um, your support, always. It means so much to me. Um, and if, as I said, if you aren't already, then I'd love it if, if you like what you see. If you give me, a, a hit that subscribe button. Um, that would be amazing. And I hope that you all have a safe and happy week. Stay crafty. Bye.